Welcome back. It's Crossfit Business tonight. We are in Beirut. So the revelation tonight from the Canadian Prime Minister reinforcing what others have said, that it was, or highly likely, two Iranian missiles that brought down the Ukraine International Airlines 737 out of Tehran. On the line, the Director General of IATA, Alexander Dezhuniak. He joins me now. IATA is the representative body of International Airlines. Uh, Director General, you have heard what Justin Trudeau said, your immediate reaction to the fact that it seems likely this plane was brought down? Well, the first, the first reaction is uh, uh, to think that it's uh, a tragedy, a tragedy for the victims and for the families and all the beloved ones and our thoughts are with them. That's the first thing and for this industry it's always a tragedy. And uh, it's, it's a drama. But we have no evidence and we know nothing about a, a potential um, short uh, of the aircraft by any missile. We, have, we are aware of the various reports and of uh, the Canadian Prime Minister statement. Um, but we, we, we know nothing precise. And what we are asking for is for a thorough and a precise and comprehensive investigation of that on that uh, terrible event we 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 right. urge the Iranian, Iranian authorities to conduct this investigation as fast as possible comprehensively completely extensively so that's our request for the, do you have we owe that to the victims do, hang on do you have do you have do you have confidence that the Iranians will do such an investigation? Uh, you know, under the uh, international law, uh, the authority uh, which is in charge of the investigation is the, uh, the state in which the event has happened. So it's uh, uh, Iran. But um, you have also, um, uh, you can add um, under the international law, the Chicago Convention, the state in which the plane is registered, so namely Ukraine, and the, and the state in which the engine or the aircraft uh, um, have been manufactured. So namely, uh, 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 it is uh, the U.S. for the aircraft and uh, it's uh, Franco-U.S. Um, um, company for the engines. So, and the state of investigation can request the help of uh, other authorities and other states and what we really ask the iranian so, government to do is if they need a technical capabilities to analyze you know the data coming from the uh, black boxes they should request it for uh, there are various uh, uh, competent and highly skilled authorities right. in the world who are able to provide this analysis <laughs> we urge them to right. do it so, so far, it would suggest that the Iranians are refusing or reluctant to invite the Americans to take part in the investigation. They have notified the NTSB, but they haven't invited the NTSB to participate. Tonight, on this program, will you call upon the Iranians to invite the Americans as necessary to participate? You know, uh, we will call the Iranian authorities to invite all the uh, 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 all the authorities which are, uh, which are responsible for that, and to ask for any help from the any competent uh, um, um, laboratory uh, which uh, we, uh, which could provide the right analysis of the data coming from the from, uh, coming from the black boxes, and there are several around the world authorities which are able to conduct an extensive and comprehensive analysis uh, of this data that is the key right. issue to right. understand what happened for the for for this uh, type of event not to happen again never that's the right. safety priority apparently the iranians are inviting right Apparently, the Iranians are inviting the U.S. to at least mm -hmm. be part of the or present during this. Uh, finally, um, finally, Director General, the um, 
You ran an airline, you ran Air France, you, you've been steeped in aviation uh, throughout your career. As you look at this, um, these sort of accidents, incidents happen once every five or ten years. Mm -hmm. But the airline industry now needs to, I mean, would you, would you completely avoid Iranian and Iraqi airspace for the foreseeable future if you were running an airline now? But as you know, um, first of all, we have, as an airline, we have to comply with the, uh, uh, the guidance and the regulation which, which is issued by our own regulator, the country in which we are registered. So if it's Air France, it's France. If it's a U.S. airline, it's U.S., etc. Uh, first of all. Secondly, uh, when you are responsible for an airline, you, you try to, um, to gather all information, to grab all the intelligence you can have, to see whether or not you continue to overfly some zones which could be risky because there is a conflict or whatever. So the point is follow the guidance of, the, of the, your, your regulator and secondly, grab all the information you can to make the right decision. You know?